And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. You may want to have that umbrella handy this morning. We continue to track a round of low pressure, more importantly, a warm front that continues to make its way further off to the northeast. And as that occurs, we'll continue to see chances of rainfall throughout much of the morning hours as that warm front drags further to the north. It's bringing moisture, it's bringing heat as well. You see the scattered showers and thunderstorms and getting a better look at that rain chance right now. The heaviest rainfall throughout the region across the southern half of the viewing area. You can see a few light showers and storms just south of Attica, just northwest of Linden. The heaviest rainfall right now west of Frankfurt, southeast of Lafayette, right near Mulberry to Monroe to Rossville. This is all moving eastward. It is generating a little bit of lightning at this hour, but mostly just heavy downpours uh, at this hour. So you'll want the umbrella it's certainly handy in this region at this point. But even off to the north, we're seeing a couple light showers and storms across parts of White County. We had a couple little cells near Newton and Jasper counties over the last couple of hours. But the majority of that rainfall now beginning to depart eastward. And we are looking at drier conditions going ahead throughout much of the morning, even into the early afternoon. Now with that warm front passing through temperatures, remain pretty mild. 61 degrees in Rensselaer right now, 58 Rossville, 59 in Crawfordsville. Our average high temperature for today near 72 degrees and things getting a little bit brighter out there this morning. Temperatures at 58 in Lafayette. Winds from the southeast 7 miles per hour. The rain chances do continue for at least the next hour or two. Thereafter, we get a nice little break and that's going to help boost temperatures quite a bit. So we have the scattered morning rainfall followed by warmer, warmer temperatures this afternoon. In fact, some portions of the region will be peaking up towards 80 degrees later on today and there's plenty more heat and rain chances where that comes from in the forecast going ahead. So there's this morning's warm front that continues to drag further off to the northeast. Scattered cloud cover throughout the afternoon, allowing some sunshine to reach the surface, boosting temperatures here at the surface. So we have the heat, we have the humidity, and as a result, we're also looking at pop-up shower and thunderstorm chances later on today. The warm front stays off to the north of us. I'd like to see a few storms pop later on this afternoon. That's why the National Weather Service and Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk. All this green on your screen right here, that is a marginal risk for severe weather, meaning small hail, gusty winds, heavy downpours, certainly a possibility later on today. And the entire viewing area is under that because once again, those temperatures will be climbing so high. 80 degrees this afternoon. We'll at 81 in Fowler, 82 in Crawfordsville later on. We'll dip off to around 64 in Lafayette overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. We'll continue to stay in that warm sector just with the warm front off to the north of us. Hot and humid conditions here across the region, generating more scattered showers and thunderstorms across the viewing area by Saturday afternoon and evening. More importantly, look at that cold front off to the west of us over the Great Plains. That's a frontal boundary that will begin the pass across the region as early as late Sunday evening, early Monday morning, and that could bring a nice round of storms back to the viewing area as early as that point. 79 degrees, your high temperature for tomorrow. We'll see more pop-up shower and thunderstorm chances on Sunday before that cold front passes during that Monday morning, early Monday afternoon period. Another nice defined line of showers and storms come Monday. Now on Tuesday, we dry out and cool off, looking at a high temperature of 65 degrees Tuesday afternoon. Wednesday, 66, back up to 69 degree, degrees, Krista Alex to wrap up that precision seven day forecast. All right, so when we do get a break in that rain, it's going to be a pretty nice four or five days ahead of us with yeah. temperatures in the 70s and 80s. It all depends on if we can get a break in those clouds. Yeah, and that's the thing that we're going to be dealing with. With the warm front off to the north of us, the cold front to the west, we're in what's called that warm sector. So high humidity, high temperatures, pop-up shower and thunderstorm chances almost each and every day over the next four or five days. It's going to feel quite a bit like summer throughout the next uh, four or five days here. Looking forward to that. Cameron, yeah. thank you. 614.